we're really focused on bringing the messages and the voices of experts and leaders and people who are out to transform the world into the thousands and millions of people. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Tina Dietz. Previously, episode 462 of the 12 Minute Convos. It's been just two years, 10 months, and five days since we last spoke. Part of the blessing that I have is to be able to help shorten other people's learning curves now that I kind of stumbled my way through it and help guide them in the right direction and kind of connect the dots between wherever they are presently and the future they really want to create. That was then. This is now. How are you doing, my friend? Wow, I didn't realize it had been that long. It seems like a drop in the bucket. I'm doing great. Well, it's good to Happy hear to your be voice. Here. Yeah, I'm glad that you're here. Now, you have been here uh, two years and 10 months and five days ago. Usually I go to the hours, but it means that we would have had this conversation at the same time uh, in 2016 (laughs) October it was right Uh, but that's fascinating you're a creature of habit do you do all your interviews at 1 30 my time you know what (laughs) maybe I have a habit of scheduling that way and I don't even know it it's It's one of those funny things it's amazing well we talked about so much on that episode and in our conversation your heart really came out in terms of how you love connecting people as well let's unpack what's going on what's the latest with you please oh my goodness well so much has changed Uh, life has truly opened up in in so many ways. I've been so grateful that our our team has expanded or at least tripled. We're able now to work with some very high level leaders from all over the world, getting their voices out into the world. Uh, Basically, a company had a big shift. My partner in life became my partner in business, and that brought an entirely new facet to the company and is allowing us to scale tremendously. So now we're really focused on bringing the messages and the voices of experts and leaders and people who are out to transform the world um, out to the masses into the thousands and millions of people. And then we're doing that through audiobooks and podcasting and also through the deeper work of vocal leadership and vocal leadership embodiment, which is uh, really the place where my heart lives and even change the name of the company from Start Something Creative Business Solutions to Twin Flame Studios. And I'm just really grateful to have the team and the and the clients and the colleagues that I do. Hmm. So the podcast Start Something show, that's in hiatus, is it? Oh, no, that's on, we'll call it permanent hiatus. We okay. got so busy, but I do have actually another show coming out in uh, October of 2019. And that is actually much more about the intersection between everyday life, humor, and personal and leadership and spiritual development. And it's um, a little bit more on my personality and what I find funny in the world and the people that that I have and access to, these amazing people that I know, and more about having the conversations about what we find funny, what we find interesting, and moreover, what's really important keeping yourself on track mentally, emotionally, spiritually as a leader and just as a human being. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with everything that's going on? Who is intrigued by getting a podcast out there or starting something, right? Right, exactly. No, twinflamestudios.com is our main URL. And you can get to episodes of the old podcasts there. We'll, of course, be sharing the new one there as well. Though it's a very different kind of market segment for that, but we're hoping to bring more lightness into people's lives through that. And of course, our audio library of audiobooks and podcasts, which is always a nice resource if you are just a seeker yourself and want to find out more information about different leaders out in the world who are, you know, really leaving a legacy, trying to leave the world a better place than they found it from all different facets, whether it's business or nonprofit or uh, everything from numerology to 
running a, a hundred marathons in a year. The people that we've worked with and their stories, it's just been amazing. Now, you uh, stem from entrepreneurial family and many people look at that and they're like, yeah, that's an advantage, right? Like you're a fourth generation entrepreneur. And of course, now, yeah, you learn that. But I found that there are challenges that go with that from the perspective of uh, seasons. What a previous generation did in their era and what you have to do sometimes looks different, right? Uh, how have you adjusted and how do you uh, work with that from a mindset perspective? Well, in truth, I actually had to come to a point where I separated my experience growing up as the child of business owners and entrepreneurs from what I was doing because it was so different. My experience growing up in an entrepreneurial family was not great, mm. not great at all. We had a bricks and mortar business that my parents worked in constantly, and I viewed it as huge competition, never wanted to be an entrepreneur. Mm never wanted to own my own business, but it was the advent of the digital world and being able to be a digital nomad and run a remote team and run a remote company that made the difference for me. I'll never forget sitting in the parking lot of Villa Maria College. I was teaching some night classes at the time in addition to some other work I was doing with universities and colleges. And I had picked up Tim Ferriss's The 4-Hour Workweek, the first edition, right after it came out. Right. And I was late for my own class because I couldn't stop reading it. <laughs> <laughs> and that really snowballed for me into a very different mindset. I had to separate out my past experience for what I want my future to be. That's great, though. I mean, like, you're still doing the good thing, right? Like, uh, the times I was late for class, like, I wasn't reading a book by no means. Right? <laughs> you were you were reading a book while you were late for your class. That's, that's still great. A great but I place was to teaching be. it. I was oh, my. Oh, my. You were class. teaching the class. <laughs> that's not a good thing. <laughs> but that worked out well. My students got a big earful that night, let me tell you. <laughs> I can well imagine. I can well imagine. So we spoke about as well... David, right? So is David in the picture still? No, that relationship, I chose to end my 20-year marriage over a year ago, probably about almost 18 months ago now. No, I would love to get into this if it's okay with you. Sure, you like, can explore that. Yeah, too. I would appreciate it because I'm having conversations where I'm inviting past podcast guests and things have changed and some do not want to express that side mm -hmm. and I respect that and if you do not as well, I respect that. But it's so intriguing to see what can happen as both human uh, individuals of a relationship evolve. So, I mean, tell us, how did that work? Oh, wow. It was a challenge. I found out after the fact that usually in a relationship, one person is in this particular arc, that one person who had been me has been thinking about ending the relationship for a while, and I had been, and the other person is missing the signs of that. And unfortunately, that was my mistake in this particular case. And if I had to change something, that's what I would change is I'm not sure how I could have been any more blunt that things were breaking down in the relationship. And, you know, I met Dave when I was 18. Wow. And, you know, we started dating when I was um, actually the day I turned 20 was our first date. And we had an incredible relationship. We have two amazing children. And there's a, so much growth that has happened and so much growth in different directions. We came to a point where our recollections of what our relationship had been like, our history, were like two different people had lived it. Hmm. And this is what we discovered in the process of dissolving that relationship and coming to a completion on it. And um, our main focus was to make sure that the children were not made responsible for anything between the two of us. And that has actually been the core of what has made the transition workable. And my kids are uh, almost 15 and just turned 13. Yeah, which was straight into my next question. Of course, yeah. you are a fellow podcaster, right? So you know how yes. our minds go, like how are they going and how is not just uh, that separation, but the entrepreneurial side of yeah. how is that going? How is that impacting them? Well, yeah. I mean, my kids have grown up with having an entrepreneur mom. And, you know, I tell the story of my son being four years old, wearing one of my old headsets, walking back and forth across the floor. And I hear him saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 
Wow. Right. How's that working out for you? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, Which I connects think... to your story, though. That happened with you as well, right? Like you had your tape recorder. Oh, thing totally. Were... <laughs> totally. Yeah. So my wow. kids have YouTube, right? You know, they have all of that. And it's interesting to see some of their attitudes emerge and some of the skills emerge. And hmm. I try to be very conscious of what I cultivate. I'm not always on that, but they have have there been emotional times and, you know, upsets and things throughout all of the, the processes? Yeah, there have been, but we've had a solid basis of communication to work from. And, you know, my background educationally is as a therapist and that master's degree was worth every penny just to be able to work through and the work that I've done myself over the years, either whether that's being coached or working through healing modalities mm -hmm. or letting go of trauma from the past, you know, working with other folks, it's all been tremendously worth it to come to a point of what feels like in the last year and a half really coming home to myself and becoming what I call a sovereign being. Hmm. Well, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for sharing that, first of all, because I think many people miss the mark when they don't share the challenges we encounter, understanding or not understanding that there are so many other individuals that are experiencing those challenges and yeah. would connect in conversation when the truth of what they've experienced is shared. So I do thank you as well as for me and my wife you know it's a personal opportunity to reflect and have a conversation and hey what are we doing here are we aligned in our stories and the way we're looking at things mm -hmm. i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart tina and as well thank you for giving me the opportunity to share what you are doing because you've continued along your path my friend yeah. you are not giving up no. and that is both inspirational and motivational and sometimes we don't see it right i'm stepping in here as your podcast accountability partner to say tina are you doing what you said you were going to do and it looks great so thank you for that thank you you're welcome in closing is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience oh you know what i'm just so grateful that you have continued on your path here my friend and continue to bring the stories of so many different diverse people from all over the world out to more ears because this is our human family right one world Absolutely. one community one family and the more that we can connect with each other through our stories the fewer barriers barriers that we perceive between us and then who knows what's possible out of that kind of understanding love it again amazing audience tina deets tina create pleasure pleasure i treasure thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute convos with angel jones this podcast is produced by pod edits visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing 